Well, this summer will mark years since Islamic terrorists kidnapped a mother and son from Campbell County. Jurafa and Kevin Loonsman were on vacation in the Philippines. A group linked to Al-Qaeda believed them to be wealthy Americans and helped them for ransom. Dateline NBC will air their remarkable tale of survival right here on WSLS 10 tomorrow night. Meanwhile, WSLS 10's Angela Hatcher is working in collaboration with Dateline NBC to share the Loonsman story. Angela? Lindsay, many of our viewers will remember the Loonsman's ordeal. I actually reported on their kidnapping for WSLS six years ago. But Dateline is taking us back to that time and taking the mother and son back to that place. Jerfa Loonsman saved up money for a summer 2011 trip to the Philippines. She wanted to immerse her son Kevin, then 14, in her native culture, spending two weeks on a peninsula with family. I was preparing to see the sunrise one more time before my long flight home. And uh, um, when they came. It was really peaceful. It was really tranquil. And then all of a sudden I hear this scream. Um, and I, I, I was trying to figure out whose scream it was. And then uh, I, I realized it was my mother's. Because uh, I'd never heard her scream like that before. I, it was something I'd never heard. And I could hear my mom talking to me saying, get to the mango, get to the mango, we gotta run. But we weren't, I wasn't sure what we were running from. Jerfa's first thought was robbery, to just get out and let the gunmen take whatever they wanted. They didn't get far. And we were stopped in our tracks in the middle of the beach. And men with assault rifles had surrounded us at this point. They directed the mother and son onto a boat. Kevin's older Filipino cousin got in too, hoping he could protect them. Because they were not talking to us. They were not saying anything. They're just like looking at us. They listened for the sound of passing boats during a terrifying three hour voyage, but nothing. His mother's scream had startled Kevin from his sleep. Out there in the middle of the ocean, he hoped he was just in a dream. It just started just pinching, pinching away and I wasn't waking up. It, it was real. The nightmare continued when they made it to shore. There were more men waiting for them to lead them on a treacherous barefoot hike through a jungle so thick the men cut a path with knives. A commander arrived at the camp and spoke a dialect, Jerfa knows. He demanded $100 million. I was trying to bargain with him here with my life this time. So I finally, uh, he finally said, well, how about $10 million? And that amount is still ridiculous. I know there's no way I can talk to him uh, or convince him that I don't have that money. And I just look up, up in heaven. I'm hoping he can tell me what to do. And this beautiful star just looking at me. And I pointed at them and said, if you can get the star, my husband can give you 10 million. Night sky after night sky, they sat inside a tiny cage made from limbs. Dateline NBC recreated it based on specifications from Jerfa and Kevin. The sounds of insects and birds at certain times helped them keep track of days. We did keep track of the dates by etching them into wood, into the cage that we had put in, uh, been put in. Uh, but at a point, we had... Uh, given up on that because after a span of time you begin to see it feel hopeless and you don't want to keep uh, filling in those marks those tally marks because you don't want to know how long you've been there then suddenly one day after about three months they basically said they just pointed at my mother and said she's leaving Kevin knew they were lying when they told him she'd be back the captives had been waiting for food all day Jerfa promised to be back for dinner so did they allow Jerfa to return to her son? How did Kevin get free? We'll pick up their story where we just left off tonight at 11. And be sure to watch for exclusive interviews with the Lundsmans as they return to the Philippines with the Dateline crew, leaving up to Dateline NBC tomorrow night at 10, right here on WSLS. In the studio, Angela Hatcher, WSLS 10.